Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Donkey Kong 94 Episode 2. I am your host, Ultra Director Jester. We are now in the forest where things are going to get a little bit harder from now on. Uh, the, the RNG is going to be really taking a toll on us and, well, it's just going to be getting progressively harder. But don't worry, we'll still be playing quickly and carelessly. So here we go. First stage. Now right off the bat, we've got a brand new thing to explore. Bugs! There are two types of bugs in this game. The first type is a ladybug, which obviously you can ride upon. And that other bug right there, if you touch him, he will die. I'm not sure what kind of bug he is, I can't really tell, but... You can definitely tell that these are ladybugs. So alright, first thing we do is head up this ladder right here. And then we use the switches that we saw in that last vignette. Get those bridges going. Head on over here to the key. Gotta throw it over by the switch there. Hit it go again. Head on down to the right, because if you go to the left, you won't be able to escape. Because there'd be no way to get this key past those ladders. This is the only way to go. And like that, and there you go! 159. Not a bad time, not a bad time. Alright. Next stage. Here we're doing more switch stuff. This time with elevators and lifts. So to start, use a spring to, or use a ladder to head up there if you can't hit the spring. Hold back to the right. We'll head up here and grab this key. We'll take that with us without dropping it. If you fall from too great of a height, you drop it. But luckily, if you're holding it and you get hit, which I think I'll demonstrate right now, that's all that does. So you have one free hit and a lot of stun when you get hit by an enemy with the key. So we'll, hit, so we'll uh, bring the switch back to the left all the way again. Let this bug guy go through. Not a great time I'm doing right now, but that's okay. We gotta get this important tutorializing stuff out of the way. Still, over 100 seconds. Not bad, not bad. Alright, third stage, here goes. This one uh, is a little bit trickier. Possible to do it quick, but I gotta have like perfect timing. Eh, eh. There we go. Keep going. Oh, that was close. All right, key in the door. There you go. That's pretty easy. All right, now we're on to the DK stage. This one's clearly reminiscent of Donkey Kong Jr. Having to knock over the the uh, fruit and everything. Just like all the Donkey Kongs, except for three, because I don't think anybody really remembers three that much. Alright, this is the tricky part because he's gonna be throwing these fucking things in a dickish way. The worst part is, when you're on that rope, he can throw uh, one of those gators right at you and kill you there, so. That was that was a good run. That was, that was really good. Enough for a new vignette. Flip, you'll be able to deflect barrels with your feet. It'll be very crucial for the later final Donkey Kong battles at the end of each stage. That wasn't bad. Five lives for all that. That was pretty good. A lot of short stages. We're right, moving on to the next half, or the next third, so things get a little bit more difficult. Not so much here, though, because now we're going to get introduced to our first water stage. Nice and blue. Oh. This one's not that hard either. You avoid these fish, the second that they see you, they will make a beeline to you. It'd be pretty annoying sometimes. So, now this bridge going. And moving very quickly. Head up, get the key, go, quick, quickly, 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 and there. Another good time, 132. Okay, these next two levels are my least favorite in the entire stage. The entire world, whatever you want to call this. Because you have to deal with timing and you have to deal with bugs and you have to ride them at the right time and all that shit. Not so much here. It is a bit of an annoyance. Massive annoyance. Gotta make it through here quickly before a ladybug pushes me back. Same thing here, but at least I can jump here. And there, level's pretty much done now. That was, like, perfection in terms of getting things timed right. 
Alright. This one I really, really don't like. So, this is one that caused a lot of roadblocks for me as a seven-year-old. So essentially, you gotta get one ladybug up on there. One ladybug going this way. I need to... Oh, that's not gonna be a lot of time, man. Because these other fucking bugs will get in your way and fuck you up. So now, what you gotta do is you gotta play... You gotta keep hitting this switch so that we still have the ladybug up there. But you have a more ideal sort of... See, I don't wanna go that way. I don't wanna go that way. See, now he's going the wrong fucking way again. Ah, oh, man. You know, that's about as good as we can get for now, at least for this run. I have to wait for them to come around again. Damn. This is really, really, really tricky. Okay, let's see. So he goes, he goes, and off we go. Perfect, all right. Oh, g oh man. That was not perfect. Shit. I hate this level, see? Even now, I still can't get it right. I really don't know if there's a trick or not, but I just can't seem to get it right. Hmm. Oh, that was... Oh, that's even fucking better. Actually, wait. This might somehow work in my favor, I think. Let's... Let's just ride this one out. See where it goes. This has never happened before. Whoa. I've never had this happen to me before where the where this ladybug gets caught on the outside wall like that. Never happened before. Are we gonna go all the way across the screen? Oh no, I guess not. Well, that's alright, we can still make this awesome move, but even if you even if you do manage to get past that and get the perfect timing, there's still another head to this Hydra. Getting the key. It's not just simple as getting the key and bring it to the door. No, we have to pick up the key. We gotta throw it down here. We gotta quickly go down this ladder, and then we gotta pick it up before it drops down again. And the ladybug helped us out with that one. Man, that's a weird ass level. I hate that stage. This one shouldn't be too difficult. The next DK stage. There, he's throwing those fucking jacks like he did. And... Whoa. Oh, oh. Perfect fucking run. So again, you can use Mario's tricks to cheat. I'm sure a lot of speedrunners might want to see that one. Alright. I've showed off this move plenty of times, but this vignette is dedicated to this little side hop you do. When you go one direction, hit another direction, you see Mario skidding, he can jump and he does that little fling like that. Very handy, especially getting up high walls very quickly. We're doing pretty good so far. Alright, let's keep this run going. For our last little leg of the stage. Ah, here we have our first appearance of the Twitter bird. Yeah, funnily enough, the Twitter bird appears in this game. And, uh, well... That was, that was a terrible, that was terrible timing on my part. But essentially what the Twitter bird does is that he's gonna fly around the stage, and if he sees you on the same Y coordinate, he's gonna drop an egg. Kind of an annoying thing, really. Yeah. Luckily we can just jump over him quickly. I think I might want to go ahead and bring these down, so coming back would be a lot easier. Oh! Oh no. I thought I could bullshit my way through, I guess not. Doesn't take this many tries to do this level. Dang. Oop. Oh! Oh! That was close. Dang it! Those eggs fall too slow! Man, I've lost all my mojo from that seventh level. This threw me off my balance. It never takes this long to do this fucking level. Damn, I'm sorry. Oop. So head on up, grab the key, and maybe we'll just head on back, don't even need the switch. Cause we can just do this. There. Oh man, that was... 
That's terrible. This game can still kick your ass, even after how many years it's been. Man. Over 20. Alright, this is a fun little level here. These guys will wake up, wake up, look around, and charge forward, but luckily... And looks like those ledges are too high for us to just flip over, but... Can do this. That's one little shortcut you can use, I guess. Alright, moving right along. Stage 11. Almost done here. Now this, we could use the hard way to get up there where the key is, or we can just use the easy way, which is to use this ladder. Because going down is really the hard part. So we're taking this time to get a look at the stage, see what we're working with, and alrighty then. Whoop. Whoa! Whoop. Huh. Ah! Okay, so maybe getting the key is the hard part. Dang it. Especially when you're trying to do special tricks and you have to do your little ta-da at the end, which locks your input for some fucking reason. Uh, uh, all right, there we go. Gonna get a bad time on this one. Pretty sure uh, it's hard to get the key back once it's fallen down there. Which means you have to go back up and do it again. Luckily, we didn't have to. We caught it in time. All right, last stage, the DK fight. Here's where you might want to stay upside down. It sort of throws off two barrels that don't go anywhere. It's a real smart dude. You stand right beneath him, hit one barrel. And you go to the right because he's going to throw one to the left. Like that. He's got one barrel free right there. He's going to grab. Ah, uh, okay. Got several barrels alive right now. I think he's gonna throw one to the right here. Okay. So I'll wait for that to sit. I want to deliver the final blow here. There we go. And that does it for Forest. Why doesn't Mario ever do anything to stop him? Like, why didn't they get a fourth barrel to throw at him when he hops up there? Ah, but we got another vignette to worry about first. I'm pretty sure I've lost all of my lives that I just got to this. It's ridiculous. Well, that does it for this episode of Donkey Kong 94. We'll see you next time.